Hi, always Rio CloudSync. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at conditional access with token protection as a session control. Why are we discussing this today? With Microsoft's announcement last week of Azure Active Directory becoming Microsoft Enter ID, they announced some functionality and features to help us reduce uh, tenant exposure to threat actors. And with that, token protection was one of these capabilities Microsoft have provided within the Microsoft Entra ID P1 and P2 plan. So what is token protection? It's sometimes referred as uh, token binding in the industry if we're used to uh, on-prem or TIN terms. It attempts to reduce attacks using token theft by ensuring a token is usable only from the intended device. When an attacker is able to steal a token, i.e. by hijacking or a replay, they can impersonate their victim until the token expires or is revoked. Token theft is also thought to be a relatively rare event, but damage from it can be very significant. We've seen this, we, we've seen this through our partners and end customers. We've seen threat actors compromise global admin accounts with, uh, with, with owner role-based access control associated to that account. And with that, they've spun up resources to consume uh, well, to either uh, mine cryptocurrency or to steal data and expose that to, to external uh, personnel. With token protection, this provides that not second layer, but third layer of defense to multi-factor authentication. What you may have seen in the past is you've got a user account. You either got per user, um, i.e. legacy, security de defaults or conditional access in place. With that, a uh, threat actor has either password sprays, access the account, you've checked the sign-in logs as an admin, and you've seen the, the, the claim in the token was previously satisf satisfied. That's because the threat actor has stolen the, 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 the primary refresh token, in essence, um, of which they were able to access the account. Therefore, token protection is here to, to stop that from happening. Funny enough, it is in a Microsoft Entra ID P1 or P2 license, so it is a premium uh, premium feature. However, Microsoft are investing in their security controls, and it's something we need to be, be made aware of. So first things first, if we come into Microsoft Azure, either through portal.azure.com or through the, the admin console, we can type in conditional access. This tenancy in question has Azure Active Directory P2, which is now Microsoft Entra ID P2. If we click Policies, we can select New Policy. We can give the policy a name. In this instance, just Test. What I'm going to do, I'm going to simulate a conditional access policy, which is enforcing MFA for all users, for all the admin consoles, and also adding that session control of token protection. So, so the claim the token can't be satisfied, i.e. it can't be stolen mid drift of a sign in attempt. So in this question, I'm gonna select all users. We can exclude a uh, break dash glass account if, if, if required. Target resources. I'm gonna select apps. And what Microsoft also introduces Microsoft admin portals. So we can select Microsoft admin portals. Just an FYI, I am part of the uh, the, the, the private group with the, with the engineering team at Microsoft, and this does not include all Microsoft admin portals. So I do suggest you read the documentation. There are a few admin portals which are excluded from this assignment. What we're going to do now is select conditions. We can leave this as is, as the conditions will be satisfied no matter where the sign and attempt is made from. However, in this instance, I'm just going to select device platform. I'm going to select configure. I'm going to select any device platforms, Windows and Mac OS. Under access controls, I'm going to select grant. I'm going to select require multi-factor authentication. If your multi-factor authentication is set to system preferred, it will use the Microsoft Authenticator app. We then want to press select, save that option select session controls and then this is where you'll see require the use of token protection for signing sessions if we hover over the little, little information bar a secure signing session requires all long-lived tokens 
to be bound to the device using software key binding or hardware security module. Once again, this is giving you that third layer of defense. You can also see these um, sign-in attempts within the Azure AD sign-in logs. If you do have premium licensing, you will be able to fetch back 30 days worth of um, audit logs. And for the time being, you can put on a report in here just to let create. With that, that conditional access policy is targeting all users. So any user signing into any of the admin portals on a window or Mac OS device will be um, requested to authenticate through multi-factor authentication, use the authenticator app, and they will have uh, token protection as well as um, during that um, signing attempt. What you can do as well, you can open up command prompts. With open up command prompt, you can type in ds reg command space forward slash status. And with that, with that, that will give you your, um, under the SSO state, that will give you your primary refresh token um, lifecycle. And that can be changed through um, access evaluation policies as well. The only other things to um, uh, be made aware of, there are some known limitations. External users, as your AD, ADP B2B users, business to business, aren't supported and shouldn't be included in the conditional access policy. And not all applications support the use of um, token protection. So Power BI desktop client, for example, PowerShell modules, including Exchange, SharePoint, and Microsoft Graph, Scopes, and the new Teams 2.1 preview. Any questions, then uh, please do let me know. Thank you very much.